I've passed this by many, many times. My, uh, my supermarket is right down the block here. And um, I remember back in New York, these guys were holed up in a uh, huge steel plant in the east of, the, uh, of Ukraine. Um, and they were being bombarded, not only on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. It was just, well, the whole city of, is completely level. I mean, there is no city. It was a city. There used to be a city there. These soldiers, men and women, held out. They were low on food. They were low on water. They were low on ammunition. They were low on medical supplies. They had many injured. There were civilians in there with them as well that had gone to seek shelter. Mothers, children, grandmothers, civilians. And they fought, and they fought, and they fought. But the president said, let's exit this with some uh, grace. We've lost, we've, we've lost a lot of men. My head is killing me. We've lost a lot of men. Let's live to fight another battle. These soldiers, men and women, were just unbelievable, unbelievable. When I was in New York, I was so inspired by them, by their resilience. And that is a word that the Ukrainian people can be best described. Resilience. When you have to fight for your freedom, that's when you know what it's all about. When you have to die for it. That's when you know what it's all about. The Russians are going to have to use all their ammunition. They're going to have to bomb and bomb and bomb and, bomb and keep bombing. And so I think the Russians can spend all the time that they want to spend here. Bomb all the cities that they want to bomb. Kill all the people that they want to kill. Kill all the children that they want to kill. But the Ukrainians are not going to give up because the guys like these who are heroes, complete heroes. So let's ask, where are the soldiers that surrendered to the Russians? How are they being treated? Where are they? And can we have maybe the UN or some type of international organization go check up on them. I think it's important. Let's not forget. Let's not forget about them. Let's not forget about what the Russians have done to civilians, to children, and to women. Dead on the street. Let's not forget.